In the pre-built ML software, there is a feature available to help you more easily price out the material lists that you have generated for your project. As we consider this pricing feature, let's begin by taking a look at the overall picture of a project. First of all, you'll receive a set of plans in for the project, which you'll take through the takeoff software, ultimately resulting in a material list. But for many, the end result desired is not just a material list, but a material list that is priced with current store pricing. So how does that transition take place from the material list to a priced material list? Obviously, what needs to happen is, in some fashion, the material list needs to have your current store pricing applied to it. So when we speak of the pricing feature in Prebuilt ML, it's speaking of or referring to this area, the transition between the material list to the priced material list. When it comes to the pricing feature in Prebuilt ML, the place to start would be to identify which method will be best for your situation. Option one would be to take the material list from the Prebuilt ML software and export it and import it into your point of sale system. From there, you can generate a priced list from your point of sale system. Option two would be to take the pricing information from your point of sale system and export it to the product information database, a file that pre -built, the pre-built ML software can interact with. Once you've done that, you can take your material list through the pricing information database and pre-built ML software will price out the list for you. So option one would be to price your list of materials through your point of sale system. Option number two would be using the pre-built ML software to price out your material list. Once you have identified which method would be best for you, then you can move on to more effectively building your pricing data file.